Hello, YouTubers. It's me, the Poet of Pleasure, the Monday Messiah, the Sunday Sermon, the only free time, free time, free time, KC Chess Champion, Marks the Bone, Dust the Warmth. And today, I'm going to shoot a bit of sheets, as I've just got up in the morning. Not even up, I'm still lying down. I was browsing on the Facebook, I was reading some shit. So, the Bone Duster, the leader of the nation of the Bonaholics and Bonalites, is going to endow you with some truth that's too sweet. <laughs> Love how Gallo so sweet. Anyway, let's talk about what I saw and what the law of the nation is going to be. So, I was on the Facebook, as you do, as you do. As someone had shared a post from the band Slipknot. Famous for such songs as People Equal Shit. Amongst the things. And, um, what's this beauty thing? Ooh. 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 I've got a zoom on this bad boy. Yeah, so what the fuck's it doing that way? <laughs> Fucking hell, this thing's crap. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, Slipknot playing in North Carolina. North Carolina. Well, I don't like the guys. I don't like them guys now, and I don't like the working class. They put the guys, the working class. In their message now. Can't have the living wage. Working living wage. Can't have the gays having their rights as you do. And Slipknot's going to partner up with the gays. Try and get the gays some rights. They don't have to mention it. I was reading a few of the uh, comments. Because you click the comments button. And you can see... Um, Divided the view is so Bone Duster decided well, after reading some things he needs to lay some bullet points down. First one, most important one, first one, most important rule in life, very simple. If you fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. Very simple rule. You don't literally have to fuck someone up if they fuck with you. Just don't like them. It's basically what it is. Don't don't endorse the violence. Don't endorse calling someone a retarded little shit face. Don't do that sort of thing. Be a big man. Be an adult. Walk away if you have to. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's the, that's the rule. That is the rule. You know what Bone Duster says? Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate. Don't get overconvoluted. Keep it simple. Remember that one rule. You Christians like to call it do unto others as I would do unto them or some bullshit like that. Basically mean don't be a dick. I won't be a dick to you. Okay. That's simple, yeah? I read a very good post. So a lot of people were complaining about the gays, the lesbos, the trans bows, the bi bows, the gay bows. Why gays just called gays, but we don't call lesbians? Yeah, I guess it's just because gays is just one syllable, isn't it? But lesbos is two syllables. Lesbos is two syllables. It's only three. The gays, the les, the bi's, the trans. You know what I mean? These people were complaining. That they're using the wrong toilet, mate. And then I saw a very good comment. I don't know who put this comment. They probably wouldn't want to be associated with this video anyway. <laughs> but come on now. Yeah? So. They said, as long as you look the part, doesn't fucking really matter which toilet you use, does it? As long as you look the part, it's just a fucking toilet, mate. Yeah? 
if I'm dressing up like a woman, got the fake boobs in, got the long hair, if I look the part, mate, might as well use the woman's toilet. It's going to be fucking cleaner anyway. Nobody ain't going to fucking know. They ain't going to fucking know. No, nobody, not even the most extreme hate preacher, is fucking waiting outside a public toilet 24-7. Nobody's going to fucking give a shit. An opposite man. Opposite man. I mean, look, man, I've got I've got a bit of breastage going on. Especially in America, man. There's people fat way fucking far than me in America, mate. Other way around, man. The fucking girls with the short fucking hair, mate. If they're fucking willing to be associated with the mans. They ain't going to the boys' toilet, mate. Just go in the cubicle, mate. If there's a fucking cubicle open, I go in the fucking cubicle, mate. Don't want to make the people standing next to me at the urinal feel unnecessarily inferior when that event can be avoided. Because if I do have to go next to them, they will feel inferior. They will. So, yeah. Good point. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to say about this matter, man. It, it, keep it simple, man. So I made a video about this a little while ago. Keep it simple. If you've got a dick, you're a boy. If you've got a vagina, you're a girl. It doesn't matter if you're a boy and want to wear a dress. You're still a boy. As long as the boy in the dress doesn't, does not conflict with the first rule. Fuck with me. Fuck with you. I don't care. Have a nice day. If you like playing League of Legends. I'll kick your ass at League of Legends. If you're a guy wearing jeans, if you're a guy wearing a dress, if you're a girl wearing a suit, if you're a girl wearing... It doesn't matter, mate. Kick your ass at League of Legends. Simples. So, yeah. And also, man, these people, man. These Yankarankos that need a little bit of education, though. Stop talking about marriage like it's a Christian foundation. It's a Christian institution. It's not, mate. It's not, mate. Christianity only started about 2K years ago, mate. Before that, Egyptians were getting married to each other, mate. And they weren't fucking Christians, were they? But even before Christianity was invented, people were getting married. So, mate, it doesn't matter, does it? The reason, the reason, and you, you, this is going to shock you, the single-celled organisms of the inbred Americano, yeah, let little old Bono tell you, and it's not everybody in America, it's not everybody in America, it's highly intelligent people in America, this, this could be for any dumb inbred person throughout the world, it doesn't have to be a Yanko, it doesn't just have to be a Brito or a Frencho, it doesn't matter, yeah? If you don't know, you're about to know. The reason in the Bible that it states that homosexuality is not right is because if everybody was gay, there would be no more human race. At least there wouldn't have been 2,000 years ago. Obviously, we've got IVF and... Artificial insemination of the nation. But before that, they didn't have that option. So if everybody was gay, there'd be no more humans, because there'd be no way to reproduce, would there, mate? All the Bibles, yeah? All the Bible is a bunch of kids' stories, yeah? You know when you were a kid, they told you to eat carrots so you'd be able to see in the motherfucking dark? Eat your spinach so you have muscles like Papa! It's not true, is it? But if you go, I'll eat carrots and spinach, it's healthy. Nobody gives a shit. If you say that they give it superpowers, you start giving a shit, yeah? If you are, oh, don't be gay. Um, not, not everybody can be gay. Because uh, we need to be able to have some babies. Or, you got to go to hell if you're gay. you got to go to hell. Which one has a better impact? In children's stories, you always over-exaggerate so you can get their attention and actually get them to do the shit you want. But we're in the 21st century now. 
mankind has evolved, and you fucking children of men and women who are anti this and still living 2,000 years in the past, to get in even the past further than that, need to understand that it's a no day, and as long as they're not fucking you in the ass, you have no fucking right to fuck with them. Got a bit of sleepy dust in my eye. But yeah, this is a good way to wake the fuck up. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Everybody have a nice day. I've got to wake up. I'm actually bother to wake up now and go to what? I've been the bone duster. Bye bye. For now. <laughs>